Big Data Security. All right, so uh, welcome everybody. This is IGTV, and here is the InfraGuard editorial with William H. Murray on Big Data Security. Take it away, Bill. Good morning. Good morning. Big Data Security. Big Data Security. The meaning depends upon where one puts the emphasis. Imagine that your enterprise is like IBM, hundreds of sites worldwide with hundreds of mainframes, hundreds of thousands of computers and petabytes of storage, tens of thousands of workers, professionals, managers and executives are creating intellectual property everywhere you look. You have thousands of databases, storage is a commodity, and incidentally, uh, if I can buy uh, storage for 10 cents a gigabyte, I suspect IBM gets it for a lot less than even that. And unstructured data grows by gigabytes daily. There is value hidden in the data and value in knowing where the data is. This is big data uh, with a little b and a little d, but big nonetheless. IBM's business model is to deliver products and security, uh, products and services. While this includes software, IBM primarily uses big data to identify, design, manufacture, market, and deliver other products and services. Google, as an enterprise, might be called Big Data with a capital B. They have, co they have converted all of the visible, unstructured data in the world into a single, content-addressable database. They created all the necessary metadata, and they update it daily. Google have imaged and mapped the Earth, focusing on that part where the people are. It knows the identities and appearances of half the adults and many of the children in the world. Given any unstructured data as an argument, and as a function, it will return the addresses of all occurrences of that data anywhere in the World Wide Web, ordered in a way intended to be meaningful and useful to you. Give it the image of any architectural structure. It will identify it, store it for later use, return the address and the address of its neighbors and other images of it. Google Enterprise Data is the metadata for the rest of the world and the data that describes the knowledge for indexing, retrieving, and using it. At one level of abstraction and to a first order of approximation, Google be, can be said to know everything. Google's business model is to monetize the knowledge. Said another way, big data is the product. What Google indexes is big data with a capital B I and G. All of the data visible to or in, I should want to say that, the World Wide Web. Its size and daily growth literally boggle the mind. This growth is being driven by an increase in the use of data, the different uses or applications of data, and the number of users of data. These are driven by the increasing value of the applications and the decreasing cost of the technology to create, store, access, and use it. Finally, we have Big Data, capital B and capital D, the industry, that which Bruce Schneier warned us about at RSA 2012. This includes Google, Facebook, Apple, Yahoo, Amazon, eBay, and lots of others. The business model of these companies drive their policies and their policies, while they do not determine the results or the outcome, they certainly influence them. Think of these as four layers of big data. Big data in the enterprise, big data as the enterprise, big data across enterprises and individuals, and big data as an industry. Big data security, then, is all about where one puts the emphasis. And for most of us, that depends upon the roles that we play. Most of us are responsible for the security of layer one. It is our job to ensure that the enterprise knows at least as much about its own data 
as, for example, Google does, and that it protects it accordingly. We must focus on the confidentiality of intellectual property, personally identifiable information, and the integrity of economic data. A few of us work for the likes of Google and Amazon. These enterprises and their data are part of the worldwide infrastructure. Our job is to ensure the integrity and the availability of that infrastructure. All of us are users, providers, and subjects of big data. I'm not sure that we yet know what data security means in the, con in the context of big data, but it certainly includes, includes ensuring the availability of big data in the face of both mischief or mischance and malice. Somehow we must ensure that big data, the industry, remains accountable for its control of that data, for ensuring that in monetizing that control they do not compromise away the rights of the users and subjects of the data. We must resist the propensity, illustrated in SOPA, PIPA, and SIPSA, of big data to cooperate and collaborate with big government to our detriment lest the servants become the masters. IBM likes to talk about big data saying, we are building a smarter planet. As law enforcement professionals and information assurance professionals, we participate in the design, implementation, and operation of the smarter planet. However, we have noticed that the smarter planet is almost as much emergent as it is the result of design. It resists our control and even our good intentions. No one, not the investors, not the designers, not the implementers, not the operators, really comprehends big data. Each of us apprehends it through the lens of his own roles and values. Our profession brings us uh, its own special appreciation of how to balance the costs, benefits, and dangers associated with big data. It may be that our best efforts will not be sufficient to determine the outcome. But if we are to be called professionals and be paid the big bucks, we must be ever vigilant and diligent. I'm always looking forward to Tuesday morning I'm looking forward to next week. See you then. All right, Bill. Uh, thank you very much. And big data is all around us today. There's no doubt about that. It's, it's, it's a huge issue. And as we go mobile, I think it's going to be an even bigger issue. True, true. Yeah. All right. We'll see you next week. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody.